It's the middle of autumn, which means the leaves have fallen from the trees. They are lying all over the roads and people don't like that. So what they're doing is they are leaving bags and bags of leaves on the side of the road to be picked up to go off to the municipal dump. This is the perfect opportunity to be able to take these leaves and turn it into gardening gold. In today's video, I am going to show you how to get a leaf-based compost pile going, set it up, but then what you need to do is you need to subscribe to my channel so that you can see how this compost pile progresses over the months. I'm not going to just leave you with a this is how you do compost video. I'm going to keep coming back to this pile, keep giving you tips, insights, tricks, what to do with it so that we can go from raw leaves, setting it up, all the way through to being able to use the final leaf mold compost in your veggie garden or your fruit trees. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do for all my loyal subscribers that have been around for a while. Thank you so much. If you enjoy this video, you can buy me a coffee below in the link in the description. So composting with leaves. Why is it so good? Well, it's the most natural way of creating compost. If we look at the forests and all the natural places in the world, it all is based on the cycle of life in nature, of trees, leaves, animals, microbes, all dying, falling, becoming part of the soil, rejuvenating back into life, dying, and so the cycle continues. Worms, microbes, all of the soil organisms break down leaves really efficiently and really quickly. That's why this time of the year, autumn, is such a great time to just venture out into the suburbs, into the streets, fill your car up with leaves, come back and create as much compost as you can because you only get one shot a year and that is during autumn. So don't do small little batches, get as much as you can, take some of your garden space, fill it up with leaves and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna join me on this journey so you can see what these leaves turn into in a couple of months time. So do not waste any time, let's get straight into it. What do you need to be able to create a really gorgeous leaf mold compost for your garden? It is super simple. This is literally a two ingredient compost pile. It can be even simpler and just be a one ingredient compost pile, then you would get just pure leaf mold which is that loamy, beautiful substance that you can add into your garden beds. Just remember, if you are le using leaves on their own, you are going to be getting a lot of micronutrients, trace elements, and minerals. You're not gonna be getting a lot of compost-based macronutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. If you wanna do that, you need to go the composting route. And to go the composting route, you need to add in nitrogen because the microbes need the nitrogen to help break down, to help create heat, which starts the whole composting process. So what do we need for this specific batch of compost? Well, first of all, we need something to hold it in. This is diamond plastic mesh that I had lying around from the previous project. So I'm just upcycling this. You can use chicken wire. I've got a video of our homestead where I use chicken wire. It's very, very effective. It's nice and strong. You can use pallets to make your own compost bin. You can just put a pile on the floor. You don't need to spend money. You can really make this as simple or as complicated as you want to. So something to hold it in. In my example, I have cable ties to be able to tie this all together. But if you're using chicken wire, you're just going to latch it onto itself. So you don't need anything. Then from an ingredient point of view, you need leaves. You need a lot of leaves. But luckily, if you live in a suburb with a lot of oak trees and deciduous trees, there's gonna be a lot of leaves. 
I must have so far picked up over a hundred bags of leaves in between what's here at the house at the moment in the suburbs as well as what's on the homestead there's a lot of leaves that I've picked up and then for this specific project the magic ingredient is actually believe it or not grass grass clippings very very high in nitrogen also help create that heat that you need to start a hot compost pile now I don't want to get into it in this project but you have two types of compost hot composting cold composting completely different techniques I will cover that in a different video but we're going to go for the hot composting route over here just a word of advice when it comes to grass clippings don't go and take other people's grass clippings unless you know them and you know they don't spray stuff on their grass the amount of people that spray herbicides weed things on their grass is insane so there's a piece of grass here I put all the grass clippings in the corner and leave it to collect up until I do a compost pile. I know nothing gets sprayed here. It's filled with weeds and it's beautiful. It's natural. But don't go out and take other people's lawn clippings because you just don't know what you're going to get. You could end up using those lawn clippings, putting them in your compost pile and killing it. So don't take the risk. And then something that you'll see me doing, the other very, very important ingredient in this compost pile is water. If you don't have adequate moisture inside your compost pile, it's not going to work, it's magic. So make sure you have water nearby, you add sufficient water, keep the moisture at moisture levels up so that your compost pile and all the living organisms in it can thrive and do what they need to. Let's get building. So first up, what we want to do is get the ring sorted. Now, I'm not going to make you watch all of this. We'll time lapse through this so we can get into adding all the goodness into the compost pile. Okay, so there the ring is done. Don't worry about the structure of it. It might be a bit wonky in the beginning. That's perfectly fine. It's almost always going to do that. But as soon as you start adding things, it'll add its own resistance out and create the shape. So don't try and get all the joins and seams perfect. It's just not necessary. And you can see this isn't taking up a huge footprint, but it's nice and high. And why I like this and not necessarily a square compost pile is to turn it. You can take this, lift it up. The pile will fall you put it next to it and you put that pile back in here. So it's a really, really quick, efficient way of turning your compost and aerating it, as well as getting a lot of air in through the sides. So the, so the very first thing we want to do is leaves. Now I'm working on a three bags of leaves to one layer of grass clippings. It's just something I made up. It's not scientific. It's nothing like that. It's just pretty straightforward and simple three bags of leaves because three bags of leaves actually is only about this much once it's broken down once it's crunched so it's not that much even though it might seem like it's a lot okay so this might look pretty extreme after only three bags it's almost full but just a gentle push and you'll see how much it goes down so that's something you can do get a spade get a fork just compress it a little bit leaves are so fluffy that even if you compress them there's going to be so many layers of air in between that you're not going to run into any compaction issues See what I mean? <laughs> Look what a big difference that made. So that is now three bags chopped down. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in a nice layer of leaf clippings. You don't want to have a thick layer. I'm talking maximum a centimeter, probably even less, half a centimeter. You just want the top covered a little bit. You don't want a thick layer because 
then it's going to create a cakey layer that can actually over time become water repellent. So you just want to add in enough nitrogen to create a nice layer on top. You should be able to still see some of the leaves at the bottom. So remember I spoke about water? Well, now's the time you need to do your first bit of watering. You want to just add a nice watering on top. Remember the water needs to get through all of the leaves. So don't, don't worry, don't give it too little. Give it a good soaking. But if your compost pile is outside, which it should be, then you're also going to be getting winter rains if you're in a winter rainfall area. So you don't need to worry too much. Just make sure that you wet each layer properly so that when you put the next layer on top, you're not layering dryness on top of dryness. And now it's a simple rinse and repeat. Three bags, leaf clippings, three bags, leaf clippings, until it's right at the top. Go as high as you can without it overflowing because what's going to happen is very, very quickly, this pile up here is gonna sink all the way down and then you can keep topping it up. And that's why you need to subscribe so that you can see the subsequent videos of this compost pile, how it's gonna be, be progressing, because I am gonna be doing a whole sequence of this compost pile so that you don't just see how to do it and how to build a compost pile, but you can see over time what a leaf mulch compost pile turns into. <laughs> So there you have it. Quick, easy, free compost pile. It doesn't take a lot of space. This looks is leaning towards me like it's gonna fall over. We're on a slope, so I'm probably just gonna tie it down on the other side just so it doesn't topple over. Um, but there are, I'll probably have to put the correction on the video, but if I remember, probably 12, 15 bags of leaves which is a lot of leaves, it's a lot of biomass. So this is gonna turn into greatness. It's a, yeah, it's, it's a great way to create your own resources for your own garden to stop buying in, so to get more control over what it is that you're putting into your garden, into your food, and ultimately into your body. As I mentioned before, please remember to subscribe so that you can see what this compost pile is gonna turn into over time. I'm also going to be running, spoiler alert, multiple comparison projects. We have this one, which is whole leaves. We're going to cut leaves up. We are going to not turn them, turn them. We're going to run a whole bunch of experiments, which is going to be pretty cool to see the results of. So make sure you subscribe so that you can get notifications of all of those. Press the bell icon to get notified. And like I said, if you enjoyed this, please buy me a coffee below. I really, really, really love my coffees. Please share this out with your communities. Please comment with any questions you have. If you've done leaf mold composting at home or composted leaves before, drop me a comment. Let me know how you found it, what your results were. I would absolutely love to hear from you. Till next time, happy composting. <laughs>